forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For more, more blessings flow. For more, more blessings flow. For more, more blessings flow. Praise the Lord. For more, more blessings flow. Praise forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I welcome you again to 10 Minutes with God today. And today the word of God to us is that one secret from God is enough to make you a wonder to your world. One secret from God is enough to make you a wonder to your world. And this message or this topic or this title, uh, we can take examples of it from the word of God. There are many people in the scriptures that their life through God transformed. Most cases, it is just one thing that transformed their life. In the case of Solomon, God told him, what do you want me to do for you? God appeared to him. And Solomon said, you have shown me favor. I just want one thing. One thing I want is wisdom. And the Bible says God gave Solomon wisdom. And that wisdom was all he needed. That wisdom was all he wanted. That wisdom was everything needed to transform his life. In the case of Jabex, we saw that his mother bear him in sorrow. And a time came, we are told in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians 4, from verse 9 to 10, that Jabez prayed. And he prayed a 33 words prayer, and his life got transformed. And that secret, he just discovered that he could pray to God. Solomon discovered that he could ask for wisdom. In the case of Hezekiah, he was told he was going to die. And he was told to set his house in order. And Hezekiah, he, he prayed and he cried and he faced the wall. He prayed and he cried. In the case of Hezekiah, yes, prayer. Yes, prayer. He cried. Yes, crying. But in this case, he faced the wall. He shut out all distractions to face God. That is another secret that you can look at. In your own case, it may be secret, may be similar to these people. It may be different. In the case of the woman with the issue of blood that we, we read about in scriptures, she just thought in her heart. She had faith. She believed God. And she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I am going to be made whole. And then she came and she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And because he had faith and she was made whole. You see, many people have achieved and have actualized their goals in life by just determination, by just their heart, their heart desire. The Bible even says in Ephesians 3 verse 20, it said, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. There's a power working in us. And he said, he said, he said, above all that we ask or think. There are many books that have been written, like the book Think and Grow Rich. It is taken from this principle of the Bible that whatsoever the man can conceive, whatever the mind can think about, the mind can also achieve. And that is why faith is critical. Faith is important if you are going to excel in life. Even politicians, I'm, beg I'm telling you, they have faith. They have faith, that's why they joined the political party. They have faith, that's why they took the nomination form. They have faith, that's why they came out to be elected and to be selected and to rule and to reign. And that is how and what we have today. So, all these things are the things that we need to look at and we need to really, really position our life. Just one secret from heaven. The secret God will show you may be different from the secret he shows somebody else. And today we see many people are in the bandwagon category. Just going in the bandwagon, following, doing follow, follow. What this one is doing, they do. What that one did, they did it. No. As you look at the life of Jabez, there's this writer, Bruce Wilkinson, in, um, in uh, America, 
who wrote about the prayer of Jabez. He wrote one book. He wrote prayer of Jabez for teens. They even have a prayer of Jabez Bible. And on and on. Just on the prayer of Jabez. Jabez that was an insignificant figure in the Bible. But through prayer, his Bible says he became more honorable. Now, Bruce Wilkinson, Wilkinson have read about the Jabez and he had a revelation. And he expounded that revelation. Just while one secret has made that man a popular man, has exposed that man, he had prayer of Jabez conferences that he has and he held. And in his book, he said, if you can pray the prayer of Jabez prayer every day for 30 days, and you pray the prayer, pray the prayer every day for 30 days, he said your life will be transformed. That is a secret he got. And many people have listened to him, and they have also caught the secret, and they have also keyed into it, and their life has been transformed. It is left for you to know and to determine what you will do. The secret God is going to reveal to you. And how it's going to reveal to you is an independent thing. It is something that is personal. You see, what I'm talking about is that we need a personal encounter. I give the example to people. You go to a party and they serve food. And after serving food, you go to your house. Are you going to wait until the next party before you eat again? No. When you get back to your house, you eat in the morning. You will eat in the afternoon and eat in the night if you are not fasting. The following day, every day, you eat at home that way. Now, a party is once in a while. When you go for the party, you eat. Maybe um, lunch and dinner. Maybe you eat just um, some food or when you have an outing. Just a meal or two. But that meal or two cannot carry you for six months. That meal or two that you eat in a party or at a social gathering cannot carry you even for, for one week. But you need to go back home personally and eat in the morning, eat in the afternoon and eat in the night and relax and sleep and wake and exercise and go out to work. And that is how you live. Now, many people depend on what others have discovered what others have discovered it's like going to a party and then what others have provided you eat it and then you depend on that to feed you for a month that will not be and that is the same way you need to cultivate your inner mind you need to cultivate god talking to you and god revealing things to you just one secret just one secret from god can make a dummy to become a celebrity and this is your season to be celebrated. You are going to be celebrated the moment you get that one secret. And it is at this time you are going to get that one secret. In the case of Moses, God called him. God told him, I am that I am. God told him, I am that I am. Moses said, what is your name? God told him a secret. He said, I am that I am. And uh, that secret that God told him made him to know and made him to escape at its own time and to be able to prevail over all the circumstances of life in the case of um in the case of um, um abraham god told him i'm jehovah jury i'm the one that provides i am the one that's going to provide all your needs i am everything in fact at the point you know god abraham is called the father of nations it's called the father of faith. God gave him many, 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 many secrets. Now, at the point God told him, I am Jehovah Jiri. At the point God told Abraham, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. He said, you have been working with God for like 20 years or thereabout. Then God now appeared to him and said, I've revealed myself to you in one way before. I want to reveal myself to you in another dimension. He said, I am the Almighty God. He is showing us that, yes, the way God has revealed himself to you before, he can reveal himself in a higher high, in a higher level to you even today. And he's going to do so for you in Jesus' name. We're going to close our eyes and go to God in prayer this morning and say, God, reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal one secret to me today. Reveal one secret to me this week. Reveal one secret to me this, this month. Just one secret. Just that one secret can carry you for 10 years. 
He can carry you for five years. He can carry you for a whole year. Just one secret from heaven. He can make you that you are a dummy to become a celebrity. And that is what you are going to become from today in the name of Jesus. Just one secret from heaven. Oh God, give me one secret from heaven. Oh God, give me one secret from your world. Oh God, give me one secret from yourself. In the name of Jesus, transform me from a dummy into a star, into a celebrity. By your grace and by your power, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give me one secret. Oh. Almighty God, give me one secret. Even today and now, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Father, as we go out this, this time, go with us. Just this one secret we desire, as we remain and, and seek your face more. Lord, reveal your secrets to us by your power. This is the day we have been waiting for, and Lord, this is what we desire and what we pray you do for us. Be exalted, O Lord, forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Every man too you have put on the floor there, the water that is on the floor there they have put down for drinking and for bathing. I sanctify the water in the name of Jesus. Let it begin to walk healing, let it begin to walk health in the name of Jesus. That water you used to bath this morning will wash away every skin disease that is there and every skin will be perfectly whole again. Thank you everlasting Father. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We are going to see again in this channel tomorrow. Please spread the word about this channel to your friends and to your, with your family. God bless you. Let's have seven hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.